mental. That's my problem, I'm just mental. Let's do this. <laughs> My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're doing another corrections video because there is more fucking bullshit, it just keeps on stacking up. Any road, so this is to um, basically go over a video, again I'm not mentioning any names because people call me a cunt, not that it hurts my feelings, it's just, yeah, let's just get on with it. Um, the corrections video this time is LEDs, so I'm going to do a video showing you how to sort out these problems. There are various ways, well there's a couple of ways, um, but someone did an explanation uh, with a little mini whiteboard because they just literally don't have the balls to get a big one. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's talking about LEDs flashing too fast and talk about a cock-handed way of talking, you know, being condescending um, which means, I love that joke, which means talking down to people. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's like literally talking to a seven-year-old. I don't know why. So basically what happens in your entire system um, when you generally, when you normally have the filament bulbs, so, you know, when you have a, a, a filament bulb, a normal fucking bulb, um, what happens is, is that these bulbs, uh, bulbs have a watt, a wattage, Right, and basically watts are just power. So the wattage is um, is 12 volts, and then whatever the bulb is. So it just say if you had, um, just say it drew 10 amps of current. If it drew 10 amps, then this would be a 120 watt bulb. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but what happens is, is the LEDs. One of the beauty of LEDs is that LEDs do not require as much power to um, produce the same amount of lumens, the, you know, the, the same light level. Um, which is, at the end of the day, that's what we're after. This is why LEDs are good, because they don't really blow. They're um, generally resistant to vibration and stuff like that, and all the rest of it. They can be made tiny, you can have multiples, so you can have brighter. You can do all these wonderful things. So if we look at LEDs, oh, what is it? It's, it's a diode. It's a light emitting diode, so there's a diode, and then in it, that with the two fucking dickhead arrows coming out, it's saying light is being emitted. So anyway, the difference between an LED and a filament bulb is that because you're not basically um, heating up a bit of tungsten or whatever in a vacuum to basically get it red hot to glow, you're just using the properties of a diode, which is basically a, like a one-way check valve. You're using the properties of that to create light. Uh, to basically drop down energy levels, free electron, uh, free photons, go and fuck off, uh, you're dumping energy, and you get light out of it. Absolutely fantastic, great invention, the LED. The difference with an LED is that um, they don't draw the same amount of current, which is a good thing. You know what I mean? So just say this draws, it's not going to draw 10 amps, but just say if it did, I think it's like 1.75 generally. That's usually what these bulbs draw. But, um, Instead of drawing 1.75, it's more like 0 0.5 amps. That's what it draws. Now, why does this even matter? Well, it matters because of the way that your flasher relay and your basically indication system works. The way it works is, and it was very clever in a sense, is they're designed to let you know that one of your indicator bulbs is out. Because obviously you hardly use them. It's not like your, you know, your headlights so you can see. Your bulbs will be out and you won't know. So they, de they developed the system a long time ago that if a bulb is out, so you have a bulb here, a bulb here, a bulb here, a bulb here. That's the front, that's facing forward. And what happens is, is you have a flasher relay that they're all eventually connected to, like so. And what happens, well, actually no, they're connected to each other, but anyway, that is important. <laughs> and what happens is, is when one of these bulbs blows, it basically causes your other bulb to flash, um, hyper flashing if you want to call it that, rapid flashing. And in a sense, that lets you know that one of your bulbs is out. Because your indicator, your, um, you know, your, your dashboard indicator, um, your hub indicator, HUD 
indicator will f literally flash faster as well. So it gets your attention that there's obviously something wrong. So what happens is, and what a lot of people is, people just go, oh, this is fucking easy, I'm an electrician. They just plumb in <laughs> their LED indicators and they flash like motherfuckers. Why do they flash like motherfuckers? It's because of that system. That relay used to work on how much amperage is drawn through your bulbs. So it's looking for a high value per bulb in a sense like this. It's looking for this. And what it gets, the draw it gets, is this. So it thinks a bulb is out. It thinks, oh, hang about, We've, we're a bulb down. And what it does is, is it starts flashing really, really fast. And that's what happens. Your LED indicators just flash like idiots. It's because they're not drawing enough current. It's basically fooling the system into thinking that um, there's a problem. Now, how do you solve this? There's all these weird things about venting current or whatever this fucking idiot says we all know who he is <laughs> and all this shit what a stupid way of explaining it you're not fucking seven even if you know nothing about electronics and i know fuck all really i know basically what I to do to get through my fucking qualifications and kind of been most of it since then um but basically what you need to do is you need to basically load this system you need to in a sense add a bulb back in well, obviously, we don't want just this little glowing bulb in a box. It would work, actually, and I'll show you it working. Um, but you can just add a bulb, that just uh, just put it in a dark box, and what you can do is you can use a load resistor, basically a resistor, a load resistor, and when you put this resistor in line with your uh, LEDs, and most LED systems have this, so most LEDs that you will see in electronics in your phone stuff like that they all have resistors um, somewhere in that circuit but anyway uh, what this does is in a sense is this draws in a sense it draws current it converts current into heat that's all it does it's basically it's wasteful but what it does is it fools your um, flasher into thinking oh there we go it's gone back up to just say for argument's sake just say it goes back up to 1.75 amps all is good, this is basically radiating heat and this uh, basically your LED comes on like it should but it's actually about your flasher, um, your flasher, your little flasher box it's just basically it doesn't think that you've blown a bulb or what you can do because it's quite easy for all these geeky boffins to make up a quick circuit you can actually buy flashers and they're pretty much universal because they're just universal flat they're just 12 volt flashers there's nothing really particularly sexy in there you can go out and buy from most of your hardware stores and list it led flashers it basically means that either they've got this inside here or basically it's just had all the circuitry taken out of it that means that it is fooled that there's even uh, filament bulbs there to use and it would probably be fucking catastrophic if you put filament bulbs we'll actually test that but I wonder if you put normal bulbs back on with these LED based modules if it actually fucks it up or not. Uh, could it? I don't think it will. I don't think it'll actually, I think it'll be just really dim. I don't think it'll supply enough uh, current to it full stop. Um, but basically, there you go, you see, without making shit up and talking about venting off current or fucking whatever he said, it's quite easy to understand. The system was designed with bulbs in mind. Now we've, you're replacing them with LEDs. That electrical system has been fooled into thinking something's wrong. That's why it flashes like an idiot. It's actually getting your attention, saying your bulbs are gone. And you're like, I don't have any bulbs. Well, how the fucking hell did I know? You didn't email it. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit.